Guillaume Mayer joins me now from Washington with the details. Uh, Guillaume, has the United States confirmed the identity of those three Americans? Well, so far, the American authorities are being extremely careful with what they're saying about what clearly happened uh, at the border between Iraq uh, and Iran. But the American media, including National Public Radio, extremely serious media here, are describing uh, the, uh, the incident in a very different light, of course, uh, than the Iranians. The American media are reporting that uh, three American tourists were hiking in northern Iraq at the border uh, with Iran. This is a region of Iraq that, uh, that has been trying to attract tourism, by the way, as an industry to try and recover from uh, the wounds of the war. So those three American tourists apparently were hiking uh, in northern Iraq in the mountain and they accidentally crossed into uh, Iran. And that's when uh, Iranian uh, military personnel uh, took custody uh, of them. Apparently, they had the time to call their friend who stayed behind. And that friend warned the American authorities in Iraq. But by the time the helicopters and the American military uh, showed up, they were already gone and taken away. Uh, by the Iranians. Now, uh, how much is this issue likely to complicate those already strained ties between Washington and Tehran? Things will not be easy in the coming uh, weeks, uh, of course, with that new uh, incident between the U.S. Uh, and Iran. Of course, you know that Barack Obama has made an effort uh, to uh, start some sort of diplomacy with Iran, but so far this hasn't uh, yielded any results. Uh, first, of course, uh, they didn't answer to his uh, diplomatic appeal, and then later on, the elections in Iran proved that the regime of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was really not willing to communicate and to work with the Americans. That incident. However it develops in the, in the coming days, of course, will complicate things further for Barack Obama if he wants to uh, make the relationship with Iran a little bit better. Gail Mayer in Washington, many thanks indeed for joining us.